and head back into the west of India in Rajasthan, where the BJP is expected to sweep Rajasthan once again. Remember, the government, state government in Rajasthan has just changed. But look at the figure for the Congress. The prediction is zero. It's the others who are probably going to sneak in one or two seats. The D-Dynamics poll says zero for the Congress, 23 for the BJP. Let's move forward as we go into the West India, into Gujarat, the home state for the Prime Minister of the, uh, of, of the country and the leader of the Bharati, Bharati Janta Party, Narendra Modi, 26 out of 26 for the Bharatiya Janta Party, same as last time, same as the time before, a clean sweep for Gujarat. Many people will say no surprises. Remember, the Aam Aadmi Party has now become a player in the state, which it wasn't earlier, has eaten up vote share at the state level, but at the Lok Sabha level, it's a straight out fight, and it seems the Congress is likely to get zero here as per this poll prediction. Now, in Goa, once again, just two seats in the state, both in the BJP Kitty, pretty much in track with how the politics has, has shaped up. Very complicated politics. A lot of regional players in, in, in Goa as well that make the politics a lot more complex. But the BJP is right now, as per the poll prediction, in the lead in Goa as well. Now, as we go through the west of India, let's head into the big state. Uh, uh, before we head into the big state of Maharashtra, Daman and, uh, da, 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 uh, and Diu and Dadra and Nagar Aveli, the two seats, both for the BJP. One each in each of the two. Uh, uh, in e each of the, of the two territories over there. Now, let's go look at, uh, as we tra traverse the course of Western India, Lakshwadweep. It has been a Congress bastion for a long time. The NCP, which is the NCP-SP uh, of the Sharad of the Sharad Pawar League, is likely to win that seat in, in Lakshwadweep this time around. Uh, one single seat, one single member of parliament. The BJP has, has uh, not won that seat yet. This time around, doesn't look like uh, that their bank account will open, electoral account will open in Lakshwadweep either. Now, let's move on to the next state. Uh, and this is the big one in Maharashtra. Very tumultuous politics in Maharashtra over the past five years. And this is where it ends up. The BJP on its own, 16. The Shiv Sena, uh, as represented by uh, Shinde, with seven. The NCP, as represented by Ajit Pawar, one here. The Congress with eight, the other part of the Shiv Sena, UBT nine, and the NCP as it used to be with Sharad Pawar, five. So you are going to put these three together in some sort of an alliance and these three together in some sort of alliance. So you do seven plus the three, 23, 24 go this way, 17 and five, 22 go get this way. So advantage NDA. This is a troubling scenario, of course, if you are supporting the BJP. Some hope if you are supporting the opposition that this is a closer contest in Maharashtra 